welcome i'm vlogging in public this is strange but i'm in the airport and i am on my way to dubai the airport is so quiet and i'm just looking at a christmas tree <laughs> this is crazy um i don't even know if you can hear me but i went through check-in in about six minutes not for security as well there's maybe like four people going through security it was mental um I'll just give you a quick tour of the airport and show you how quiet it is. So this is the Christmas tree I was just looking at and this is how quiet it is. Manchester Airport requires all Okay, so I just wanted to quickly talk to you because I was very excited and I got very vlogging shy. But I'm currently at Manchester Airport, just got myself a green tea from Pret. It's about half past six and I should board in about an hour. Um, the airport is like, it's obviously dead, but it's still quite busy. Like there's few people around. Pretty much everybody's probably getting on my flight, but there is like loads of flights. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifty. It's probably about 25 flights on the boarding schedule. So, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. I'm gonna have a quick walk around, show you how busy it is. And I will see you on the flight. Maybe you can't hear me, but I'm on my way to the gate. Gate 12. I've made it. Mum and Dad, I've bloody made it. Well, I'm not there yet. But you know what I mean. Get me being an adult. so tired but I'm here
Oh, I need to try and like, is that? <laughs> All right, I'm literally sat like where this, the sun is. Me complaining that the sun's in my eyes. Um, and that is the end of the vlog. I might record in Dubai airport. Um, it depends how stressed I am. Um, when I arrived, it was fine because all I had to do was, I basically followed this girl. So when I got off the plane, this girl in front of me had a Dubai um, identity like card. Um, so I was like, well, she obviously lives here. If she knows what she's doing, I'm gonna follow her. So I basically followed her, went down a lift, picked up my luggage and my brother was at the other end. Um, Oh God, this is not the first time I've cried today. I've cried like all last night and all this morning. <sighs> um. <sighs> I need to try and get this all together. Oh. I have had the best time. Oh God, this isn't gonna work, is it? I've had the best time. Um, I'm so thankful to my brother and Hope for letting me come. It's happy tears, not sad tears. I mean, it is sad tears because I don't wanna go home. The UK are currently in a third lockdown. Um, lockdown 3.0, almost a year into COVID. And it's just, I can't believe that I'm leaving this place. It's such a world away, like Dubai's a world away in a normal situation, but with the whole COVID situation, COVID exists here and do not get me wrong, my brother and I have had an awful time at the beginning of the year with lockdown. Um, they were only allowed to leave the house every third day and it was for half an hour to go to a food shop. They had it hard and I think it's because everybody here is young and everybody follows the rules and it was over with and now they can do everything. They can go shopping, you can go to the cinema, you can go ice skating, you can go everything. You name it, you can do it here. You just have to wear a mask anywhere you go. Um, and that's so different to life back home. Um, people don't follow the rules. And before anybody comes to me, I didn't explain this at the beginning, but I was allowed to Dubai because I was in tier three and it was still, you could still travel. Um, I arrived here on the 2nd or the 3rd of Jan the 3rd of January and on the 4th of January the UK went into lockdown so I was already here um luckily for me as well I don't have to get a Covid test until uh, well, I don't have to get a Covid test to land I think that rule comes in on Thursday next week um so that's good but I've had the best time as you've seen in all my videos I didn't really speak much in my videos which is why I just put like a uh, like a music over them um just because i just like to get little snippets of stuff and there was some stuff that we did that i didn't film honestly i just completely forgot <laughs> um but yeah i had the best time it's super warm here not like an unbearable warm like 20 i think it's t i think it's 24 degrees today um but it has been like 23 24 which has been lovely next week it's like 25 i'm like damn it <laughs> why not come next week everyone's messaging me like this don't come home like there is no point you coming home like home is hell and really i wouldn't but i've got a job and i need to get back to it um but i've had the best time it was hard because i'd not seen <sighs> i've not seen my brother in hope in a year <laughs> and I love them both so much and going a year without seeing your family is so hard and I know I'm not the only one and I can't believe that it's over already. I just, I just don't know when I'm like see them next. They're hopefully coming home in May or July but again it's just, I think it's just that them going home to hell basically and I am super lucky and super super grateful to be able to have gone on this trip spent a week here in sunny Dubai and experienced their life and hopefully I'll be back sooner than I think it was my first time traveling on my own as well which I absolutely loved and kind of got the book for it uh, I'll go home but like mum and dad I'm going away again um so yeah my flight it's now um oh my Fitbit's dead I don't know what the time is it's some time I think it's about quarter to 11 I'm leaving at 11 o'clock my flight's at half past two um, and it takes about 20 minutes to get to the airport and then I'm on my way I'm also going to get a iced coffee 
from McDonald's because I heard that they are the best coffees ever. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe vlog a bit of the Dubai airport, but I kind of wanted to finish it here before I forget. If not, I'm sure you'll be hearing from me again. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed just a little snippet of time away. I kept Snapchat my friends and kept saying, I'm really sorry that I'm sending you all these videos because like, I don't even want to go home. Like, I can't explain how much I don't want to be home and I can't explain how much home is hell right now. Um, and they're like, no, no, keep sending it. Like, we love you, seeing you, enjoying yourself. So thank you to my wonderful friends who like put up with my Snapchats. And if you want to see some of my pictures, go follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I've had the best time. Again, thank you so much for watching. And who knows when I'll see you soon. Like I said, we're in lockdown, so I probably won't be doing much. Um, but who knows? I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.